my name's Karen Burnett. Uh, I'm an artist, abstract artist. I've been doing this for about 10 years now. Uh, before that I used to do graphic design, but uh, I didn't find I had the time uh, and the capacity to do both. And I ended up uh, giving up the graphic design and now doing the art. I'd say the hardest thing about being an artist uh, would be procrastination and the fear of not being good enough. Uh, you know, you're making yourself quite vulnerable, you're putting yourself out there and there's the fear that uh, your work won't be wanted or it's not good enough. And also uh, the inspiration really, knowing where to start and when to stop. So sometimes I just need that kickstart. So recently I've been asked to do a commission which is great, that's kick-started me back into it. So that's gonna help get the creative juices flowing. The best thing about being an artist is when people love your work and they want it in their homes. It just gives them joy and they're, you can see they're really excited about having that piece of artwork in their home. I like to do something new and contemporary, something that's never been seen before. I mean, obviously every piece of artwork is unique, but I, I, I like to push forward. I don't want to go back. I want to be new and innovative and prophetic. The process for me with my artwork is I literally play. I like my work to bring a sense of peace or joy or hope. Sometimes there's colours that I really want to work with. So at the moment there's sort of like navy blues, uh, teals, golds. Yeah, I like to have a base with a, with an accent over the top of it. I, I, I sometimes uh, try to do a, a spontaneous piece of artwork and you know you throw the paint on and get the spray paints going and it might work out but if it doesn't then it's never wasted. No disaster is ever wasted, I just wait a few days for it to dry and then add a few more layers and then if I might end up sanding it back. Every layer just adds to the depth and the, and the, the richness of the artwork. So really, the more failures you have, sometimes the better the final piece of work can be.